Welcome to the Pacific Grove Monarch Butterfly Habitat Sanctuary. Historically, great numbers of the western population of monarch butterflies settled in the fog-shrouded Monterey Pine Forest of Pacific Grove. These trees provide the microclimate they need. Proper humidity, light, shade, temperature, and protection from the wind. The proliferation of Australian eucalyptus trees in this area has affected traditional overwintering patterns by providing a tree that is not only well suited to the sheltering the monarch clusters, but additionally provides the butterflies with a convenient nectar source. Monarch butterflies typically cluster on eucalyptus, Monterey pine, and Monterey cypress at the city's Monarch Grove Sanctuary. Spectacular winter congregations of monarch butterflies can also be seen at Natural Bridges State Park in Santa Cruz and at the North Beach Campgrounds in Pismo Beach. The monarch butterfly, Danis plexippus, is a widespread tropical insect that ranges as far north as Canada. It cannot withstand freezing temperatures. To survive, the monarchs migrate to safe overwintering sites that are neither cold enough to kill it nor so warm that it wastes precious energy flying too much. Generally, monarchs east of the Rocky Mountains spend the winters in the high mountains in central Mexico. Monarchs west of the Rockies come to Pacific Grove and other locations along California's central coast. En route, they may travel as far as 200 miles a day and take several months to arrive at their destination. Sadly, the phenomenon of the annual monarch butterfly migration is endangered. The eastern population is being severely impacted by deforestation in its Mexican overwintering grounds and the western monarchs are being squeezed by the constant pressures of development and dwindling open space. Now the butterflies have been coming here for hundreds and hundreds of years. 102 years ago, Pacific Grove started the butterfly parade. Noise. Monarchs that go to Mexico are east of the Rockies. And you see this big funnel shape. That's why there's more in Mexico. For every thousand butterflies in California, there's a million in Mexico. Mm -hmm. West of the Rockies, they come to the central coast of California. And there were approximately 300 different sites way back 10, 20 years ago where butterflies would come. Not all of them public like this. <laughs> there's, a, there's a group of dedicated volunteers that get up at what I call the middle of the night, like 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and it's cold. And when it's below 55, the butterflies don't fly. When it's below 40, they're pretty much paralyzed. And so they come out really early. They have a massive uh, butterfly net on a long pole. Oh no, sorry, that's the um, that's the tagging. They they get a section of butterfly, and they say, okay, in this section, how many butterflies are there? So they count that, and then they say, how many sections this big are there in the grove? Now they've got permission to go inside, which we can't, because there's a thousand dollar fine for molesting a butterfly in Pacific Grove but they can go in so some of the theories as to why the count is off is the butterflies may have moved they may be hiding in some trees that they can't see um, they also may have gone to another overwintering site which gets me to the tag in this year for the first year in a long time City Council gave permission to tag the butterflies 
And so the butterflies here, you'll see if you look in the scope, 2,300 of them have blue tags on their right lower wing. And it's got a telephone number on it, and it's got an ID number. And if anybody finds that butterfly, you can call the number and say, I found this butterfly in Salinas. And they say, oh yeah, it was tagged on November the 1st in Pacific Grove. And it's a male, and it's got OE, which is a parasite that 30% of butterflies in the Western population have. Here we see one of the monarch butterflies that has been tagged. As we zoom in on it, we can see that this butterfly has number 51194, and the phone number to call is listed on That's the tag the as net. well. Got the butterflies down in the net, put them in a brown paper bag to keep them calm and cool. Then you pull the butterfly out, and when they started to warm up, they moved their wings, and they were really, really strong. Mm -hmm. Then we got this um, tiny little tag, which is about the size of my finger, and just stuck it on their wings and sexed them and all that oh, kind of so. stuff, and then put them back in the bag until it was warm enough for them to fly off. So. The other site was tagged with a light blue and the last site down in Big Sur was just tagged with green. So what they're trying to do, citizen science project, is see if the butterflies actually move between overwintering sites as the season progresses. So jury's out on that, we'll, we'll see whether they move or not, but, but that's a possibility some of the butterflies here could have gone. Some of them possibly died when it was really cold because they do die when it's freezing. If it gets below 14 degrees, which it isn't here, they how, will die. How long? Yeah, we'll see them then. You can even get a little closer on this one. Yes, I got it. It actually came out, it looks like a butterfly. It'd <laughs> be nice if you opened his wing. He just did. <laughs> Barely. Mm -hmm.